Hey Earth Signs, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we're going to do your general energy read for mid-June. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they can't possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome and come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. For all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading, and also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, and as always, I hope everyone is doing well. I will leave the time stamps for each sign in the description box below so you all can watch your own personal mini read, so don't worry about that part, okay? Currently, there are absolutely no reversals. Mm, okay. There are no reversals in, mm, okay, There, I'm saying that because of the song that I heard, right? There are no reversals in either one of my decks. And you guys know when I part the deck and certain cards pop out, I have to address it because it's meant for us to address it. The song that I heard was Here I Stand by Usher. And then you have the Eight of Cups, somebody needing, you know, somebody deciding to walk away from something, turn their back on something that they, at one point they found fulfilling. And I know they found it fulfilling because Cups is always about the emotions, and at one point, something was felt fulfilling to you. It's no longer, no more. I feel like this can happen during a time of cancer season because this is watery energy. And, you know, cancer starts at the end of June, the end of this month, until July. So between June and July, the end of June, mid-July, I feel like this will affect a lot of you guys, okay? Your clarifying deck, absolutely. Look at that. Look what peaked out again. Come on now. You had the Eight of Cups, and then you had Eight of Cups again, and then you have, look at that, and there's no reversals in any of these decks, but look what's coming up. Some of you, so this is a message for us. Some of you guys are definitely dropping something that was a heavy burden, heavy burden with the Ten of Wands, and that's positive. I'm going to hold it up right and just shuffle it any kind of way. At the bottom of the deck, you're going to be happy moving forward because some you're going to have some type of wish fulfillment coming in, something that you feel like you're going to have a celebration regarding and I see what else is peeking out. The Hermit card, yeah. It can involve a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. You can have these placements. But more than anything, I feel like you're going to take some time to go within and really look at a situation for what it is. And then once you do, you're going to make a decision that's going to allow you to be celebratory in a possible outcome. And that's beautiful for you guys. Wow, that's beautiful. At the bottom of your main deck, you have the Page of Swords. Some of you guys are paying a very close attention. You know, because the page of swords is always known as the I spy, somebody who's paying attention to details and what's going on around them. This is the energy that a lot of you guys are in. Just really paying attention to the details and also watching trends and patterns, someone's trends and patterns. It could have something to do with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual because this is swords. But more than anything, I feel like during Gemini season, because we are currently in Gemini season, you guys are getting ready to see things a lot clearer, right? I'm going to hold the deck down and get additional messages for all three signs. Yeah, five of cups. Like I said, with the eight of cups, something was not fulfilling to you all. And you and it left you feeling kind of depressed, kind of sad. I feel like you put a lot of energy into a situation. Also, with here I stand, I feel like you guys stand, you were standing firmly with a decision in regards to your finances and also your love life as well as your health. Um, There could be something I'm picking up Um. Something in regards to water retention. I'm also hearing something about the kidneys and the liver. Yeah. You see how there's cups on each side. Something something in regards to the kidneys and the liver I'm picking up for you guys. We're going to start with Taurus first and then we'll go on to the other two signs. Yeah. And I said something emotional. Something was emotionally holding you back, but you're getting ready to have balance with the Queen of Cups, right? So the way I'm going to do it with the general energies is we're going to get two cards. One is going to be for your finances and your health, and, this, and then we'll get a clarifier for both. So let's see what we have. Yeah. For a lot of you guys, it could be in regards to something in regards to a marriage, engagement, long-term relationship could really be affecting how you're dealing with your day-to-day -day life. Also, with the Four of Wands, this could be a place of employment because, you know, Four of Wands is a stable, long-term um, foundation. And with the Queen of Cups coming up in reverse right next to it, something in, in regards to a place that you've been at for a long time, a place that you possibly could have been working at for a long time, you're no longer feeling fulfilled in that situation. Definitely love for a lot of you guys. Look at that. Wow. 
two of cups, and then you had a seven. I'm sorry, the, um, I want to say seven of wands. So you could also always been fighting some type of difficulty and strife in regards to love. Because now you had a four of wands in reverse right next to the two of cups. And I always tell you guys, anytime I have moons in the card, there's things unseen, things unknown, things that you don't have clarity about. A lot of you guys have found some things out. And I'm going to say, even if it doesn't have anything to do with your um, love life, I do feel like this has to do with your love life, but I'm in a place of like a establishment. I feel like finances, joint finances with someone, because you got two people here, you got two people here. There could be some type of upset with joint finances with a partner. Most definitely. Someone could be overspending or spending money and not telling you about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. You got the chariot card in reverse, and then you have the two of cups in reverse. Some of you guys have to put a halt to that. Because somebody was just going out here, just all willy-nilly, look at that, quickly and fastly just prancing into the stores, buying stuff online. Something could be happening where somebody was just really moving ridiculously and not making wise decisions when it came to, to finances. Um, Could definitely have to do with, yeah, could definitely have to do with a water sign. Heavy partnership situation. For uh, for the Tauruses, right, because I'm, I'm doing this for um, Taurus, Summer, Rise, and Venus. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an issue with a person. You could, especially if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer sp specifically here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Summer, Rise, and Venus. Your partner could be overspending. If you have that Cancer placement in your chart, you could be doing some overspending. Yeah, it has to do with a partnership. So let's get your first card for finances for Taurus, Summer, Rise, and Venus individuals, and the second card will be in regards to your. Um, <clears throat> your health definitely i feel like a partner so it it could be a fire sign also but also as far as your finances fire is always about action so someone i really feel like this has to do with a joint finance financial situation your partner could be overspending and as i heard the song here i stand you see how he's standing almost like i stand on what it is i spent this money on i'm fine with this i'm okay with this and i'm not backing down look at his face he looks confident in what it is he spent his money on. And I feel like this person would be even willing to argue with you if you see all the red in the background. The whole card is predominantly red. Like this person could have a bad temper. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like you may have found out about this on your own. At the bottom of the deck, you had to page your swords again. I feel like you were doing some research, looking at receipts, looking at bank statements. And you. this is how you found out. I don't feel like this person told you directly. You had to look at some bank statements and receipts. Like where is all this money going? Yeah, this has to do with some joint, for a lot of you all, joint finances. And if you don't have a partner, then I feel like, you know, you may be overspending things and kind of forgetting where you were spending it at. Like, how much you were spending is what I'm picking up also. As far as your health, you have a high priestess. A lot of you guys, your intuition, and you're going to have an influx or increase in intuitive inklings. You should pay attention to the things that you think about. Things that randomly pop up in your mind. Pay attention to it because you're getting downloads. Also, if you look at her right here, she has like a, looks like a spiritual or religious text right in front of her. So some of you guys may be getting ready to um, embark on a spiritual journey. Most definitely. The high priestess and that is major arcana. So I feel like that's a major, you know, that's a major transition that you're getting ready to go into some of you guys if you never really cared about religion or spirituality you may now start getting ready to be in tune with that okay so pay attention to that also we're gonna hold the deck down to get an additional message again okay, yeah 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 the hermit is the seeker of knowledge and we've seen this earlier and then look at her she's sitting here with a book in front of her like she's tuning in Prayer, meditation. Yeah, a lot of you guys are getting ready to go within and you're getting ready to be at a point where you are getting more spiritually inclined. Spiritually or religiously inclined, I'm picking up. So let's part the deck so that we can shuffle. Yeah. Ten of Cups. Again, I'm going to say for a lot of you all, this with your finances especially. Mm, okay, both situations. With your finances and your emotions, you're taking the time to go within and really pay attention to things. Right? With the Ten of Cups right next to the Hermit card, but you see the Hermit have his back facing it. Things you may feel like, mm -mm, what you thought was a happy home life with this individual is not so happy. Because you're finding out some things about this person. This person has some, you're dealing with someone 
for those who are couples, you're dealing with someone who has some negative spending habit, habits. And for those of you who are single, you may have had to become single because you found out that this person was ridiculous with their finances. And remember I said, you know, the king of wands. Now you have the card of Leo right here with the strength card. So could be a Leo, someone rising Venus individual. And then you had a ten of cups in reverse. Some of you guys may have had to separate from someone with strong fire sign placements, predominantly Leo. Doesn't have to be for all of you guys, but that is showing up. And then I just seen the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, definitely Leo. I, woo, definitely Fire Sign. You got the Six of Wands in reverse. That's lack of victory. And then you had a Courage card, Strength card, Leo card in reverse, and they're facing each other. Yeah, th this person, like I said, they weren't telling you about what they were doing and how much money they were spending, and they didn't feel like they needed to. But look at it. It caused so much conflict between the two of you all. I feel like for a lot of you all, if you went through a separation with this individual, that's what made you go within and start looking at spirituality because you needed some way to heal, I'm hearing. Once you do that, you're going to be victorious. Also, I'm hearing prayer. Some of you guys are praying for healing and victory with this individual. You want a reconciliation? Wow. Okay. Wow. 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 Look at that. Yeah. So, yeah, the King of Wands being clarified by the Five of Cups and then the Eight of Cups. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, Taurus, Summer Rising Venus and the Visuals, right? With this, you may have had a partner who was just spending money all willy-nilly, wasn't talking to you about it, was just doing whatever it is they wanted to. And that made things difficult. You know, it made your finances, you see how the cups are spilled over. It's like you experience some type of lack and loss. Fives are always about some type of difficulty, some type of challenge. You could experience some type of lack because of the situation, not feeling as abundant. And if you see right behind me as this two of cups, and we've seen that two of cups earlier, this has to do with a partnership for a great deal of you all. You had to, um, you had an individual who just spent, your partner was spending money recklessly. And if you are not partnered again, I'm going to say it could be you having to overspend in regards to your children or something as far as your finances could have been some type of lack. There's some. There's an energy of lack. Definitely with five. There's an energy of lack. But I feel like predominantly who I'm reading for, this is in regards to partnership. And even if you're not with this partner, I feel like you are not with this partner because of this overspending, this hidden spending. Even if it's not a love partner, it could be a partnership in a business. I'm picking that up also. For your health, you have the high priestess. And like I said, as soon as you decided to walk away from this individual, because you got the eight of cups again, you know, in, in order, when you decided to walk away, it was difficult. And you may throw yourself into spirituality or religion as a means to heal and get over that heartbreak and sorrow. Because there's, there's a great deal of heartbreak and sorrow attached to this. You know, and you feel like you have to walk away. Because if you look at it, their head is almost down. And, don't, and they really don't want to have to walk away, but they know they need to. If you look at the moon, I'm trying to see if you can see it. The moon looks unhappy with the situation. Again, moons are about things unseen, things unknown, things that you don't have clarity about. I feel like somebody has some clarity now with the high priestess about a situation. And after finding out some details, you decided to walk away because you knew it was the best thing to do. So there's an energy of sorrow and sadness for a lot of you all, but you knew you did what was best. Also, some of you guys could have Pisces because the High Priestess is the card of Pisces. So some of you guys can have a Pisces, strong Pisces placement in your chart also. Okay, so that is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Individuals. Let's get started on Virgo. So we're going to hold the deck down to get additional messages or overline message for Virgo. Yeah, wow, we keep getting this page of swords. You guys are getting ready to find some things out too. Also, I feel like you're finding out some truths and some realities about things from doing a little bit of spying. Because this is my I spy card. This is someone who's um had to take matters into their own hands. You see the sword is in his hand. You have to do some type of research on your own to find out the truth about a situation. As we part the deck. Wow, two of cups in reverse for you guys also. This can have to do with love, most definitely. Most definitely. Also, um, two of cups, that's water. Not feeling very happy with what you found out. Could have to do with a partner. More swords. Some of you guys are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You got the queen of swords in reverse. This is a love interest. Now, as far, mm, okay. as, far as your finances, you know, you were happy, I feel like, at one point. With a place of employment, but then with it coming up right next to the Queen of Swords in reverse, 
I always tell you guys, when we see a card and the sword is up, that's just card, the sword is down, that's no. So some of you guys are deciding like, mm, I'm not feeling this. And with this being this watery energy, I feel like that's the closest season and that would be um, cancer season and that's at the end of this month. Some of you guys are deciding to cut off employment with a certain place or to start searching for another place of employment. Also doing research for, yeah, another place of employment. Look at that. Sword up, yes, yes, I'm going towards another place of employment. I want to build a foundation somewhere else with the Three of Pentacles. Absolutely, yeah. Virgo, some of rising Venus individuals, a lot of you guys could be looking for a new place of employment. Yeah, as I say, looking, you got the hermit doing research, putting in applications, looking, looking at him. He has his lantern because you're not happy where you are right now. You don't see yourself building, moving forward with this three of pentacles in reverse now. Yep, definitely what I'm picking up for Virgos. And keep in mind, the Hermit is your card, Virgo. Now you have the Hermit card coming up in reverse. A lot of you guys are not happy where you are as far as employment. Too many cards flipped out and they were down. So I'm not going to take them. I'm going to keep shuffling. One card for finances for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and ooh, Venus individuals. Yeah, a lot of you guys are not seeing the options that are in front of you. Um, also, this is a card with the Seven of Cups not feeling as, um, at one point, not feeling as well balanced emotionally because upright that's about to having so many options that you don't know what to choose just being all over the place um i'm hearing delirium i hope that's not the case for anyone but i am hearing that this is also a card of delusion and you know not having clarity it's coming up in reverse so a lot of you guys are getting ready to have some clarity come through for you wow two of them, that flipped out quickly two of wands in reverse two of wands upright is about someone who needs to make a decision about how they're going to decide to move forward and reverse. Somebody made a decision, and that's actually positive. And this is in regards to your health. Um, we're coming up right next to the Seven of Cups. Just let me know that a lot of you guys are coming out of your head, and you've decided to not let things overwhelm you because Seven of Cups can also be just being overwhelmed. I am picking that energy up very strongly for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals. Let's get an overlying energy. Yeah, feeling like you were in a standstill with the hangman. Just felt like you were literally, you don't know which route to go, which route to choose. This is also the card of Pisces. So during Pisces season, things could have felt like they were just at a standstill. You could have started a job in the time of Pisces. You could have ended a job during the time of Pisces. Also, you can have a Pisces placement in your chart very strongly. As we part the deck to shuffle, yeah, Six of Pentacles, things were not balanced, and that's why you have the hangman at a standstill. Your finances right now are not balanced, or you feel like, you know, they could be balanced for some of you guys, but you're not happy with where you work because you feel like they're giving you crumbs. Look at that. This person's getting crumbs. You feel like you're not getting paid. It's not balanced. You're not getting paid for what it is, the work that you do. And with the hangman standing there, it's like you may feel like you're just there. Yeah, you're just there because you have to make money. You have to pay your bills. But it's a burden, this job is. Yep. Very clear message for Virgo. Wow, just seen the tower card. Some of you guys are definitely want to walk away from this place of employ employment. I feel like during Leo season, you guys are going to move away from this job. Because with the Ten of Wands in reverse, you're dropping this burden. Yeah, I feel like during Leo season, a lot of you guys are definitely... Wow, Seven of Cups again, I just seen... A lot of you guys are getting ready to, you're going to be thinking about moving away from a place of employment. And Leo season starts in July and ends August, what is that? July 23rd, Leo season starts, and then it ends August 20th. That's the last day of Leo season, 20th or 21st. Okay, let's get a clarifier for the Seven of Cups. In reverse, and then a two of wands in reverse for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. So for the Seven of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords. Some of you guys could be making a hasty decision. Okay, yeah, I'm getting that some of you guys could be making a hasty decision about moving forward. And remember, I said the card of delirium, delusion. Some of you guys are so tired of being at this place of employment. You have to be mindful not to jump, leave a place too quickly, and then also to jump into another place of employment too quickly because it might not, you might not get the results that you want. That's what I'm picking up for that situation. Wow. Okay. You got the hermit again in reverse. This is your card. And right up under it, the ace of wands in reverse. 
So as far as your health, you have the two of wands in reverse, and then you have the hermit in reverse. A lot of you guys, look at that. You see how the hermit's back is facing the two of wands. A lot of you guys are like literally making a decision to walk away from something. I'm really feeling like, especially with this knight of swords now, it's making me think some of you guys are making, mm -hmm, okay, I get it. So a lot of you guys are making a decision to turn your back on a place of employment or something that has you emotionally bogged down. But you didn't put a lot of thought into it because, again, a hermit upright is about somebody who's taking the time to think things through. You see how he has his lantern like he's he's clearing a path so he can understand things clearly. It's coming up in reverse. And again, Virgo, this is your card. It's like you really, really, really need to think things through and don't jump into them too quickly. And that's what I'm getting. Some of you guys could jump into something way too quick and it's not going to have the um, results that you want. Pay attention this mountain right here, and you know mountains denote some type of hardship or a struggle or a hurdle that you have to get over. If you jump into something too quickly, you're going to give yourself some challenges that you're going to have to deal with later. So be mindful of that, Virgo, because that's the energy that we are picking up for you, okay? So let's move on to Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Let's hold the deck down to get an overlying message for Capricorn. Yeah, you had an ace of cups in reverse. Some of you guys could be feeling emotionally drained. Or also, you, as far as your finances, you could feel like your finances are being drained. Because this is an ace. That's major. You know, you could feel a little overwhelmed on the emotional side as we part the deck. Yeah, you had an empress in reverse. That's letting me know. For some of you guys, you know, you could definitely be drained emotionally as far as a relationship. Could have to do with a Taurus... Also, an Aries or a Libra individual, someone rising Venus. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, could have been a breakup. Also, I'm going to tell you, you have Major Arcana, the Tower card, and then you have the Ace of Cups upright. So I'm going to say, you know, there's a Tower moment as far as your finances, and you just feel overwhelmed. Like, there's an overflow of emotions. Some of you guys could be crying a lot or feeling... um feel like things are heavy, but I'm going to also tell you on a love front with the Ace of Cups upright, that's a positive thing because something new is coming in because Aces are always something new. You have the Tower card in reverse right next to Temperance card. Be patient is the message because whatever you felt like was absolutely impossible to reconcile or bring back to stability, the universe is helping you out because the, both of these are major arcana. Letting us know that the universe has your back. They're um, working things out in your favor. <laughs> but a lot of you guys are definitely being impatient. With the Tempest card at the bottom of the deck in reverse. Wow, I didn't even get to shuffle. Okay. So I'm going to take the top one. You had a Ten of Pentacles for your finances. Positive, 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 positive. You have some positive. Yeah, definitely. And right up under it was the Ten of Wands in reverse. Whatever burdens you were going through as far as your finances, those are ending. And that's positive for you guys, Capricorn. Okay. Look at that. Six of Cups. And then right up under it, wow, Seven of Swords. Again, you know, for I feel like some of you guys could have been dealing with a water, I mean, an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Could also be water also. It could be a water, air combination. But I, I feel like you're going to have some type of happiness in your near future. There could be, especially if you want a reconciliation with a loved one. This person, it looks like they're coming back. And it looks like you two will be able to build a solid foundation together. Very abundant emotionally and also financially, this relationship could be. Let's get a overlying energy for Capricorn. Yeah, ooh, you guys are definitely dealing with someone who's strong air sign placements in their charge. You have a king of swords in reverse. I always say again, swords up, that's yes, sword down, that's no. This person that you were dealing with, they were not being fair as far as finances, and they also weren't being fair as far as how they um, connected with you on the love front. And then also with the swords, you know, those thoughts, and those are um, thoughts and communication. There could be a lack of communication with someone, and so you're in your head. The king of swords in reverse, the, any king or queen in reverse could be nasty and cutting and very short. And you could be displaying this energy also being very short, because you're going through some emotional things. But I feel like it's gonna that's going to clear up for you guys pretty soon. As we part the deck to shuffle. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Feeling like all over the place emotionally and scattered. Especially coming up next to this King of Swords in reverse. 
And also keep in mind, we are currently in a sword energy season, Gemini season. I feel like during this time, you guys are just kind of in your head a lot with the seven of cups. You got the six of cups on the table. And then now we have the seven of cups. Yeah. I'm also going to say this is the card of Pisces. So some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign again with the six of cups. They had a, um, what is this, the page of cups, and they got a seven of cups. I feel like for some of you guys, if you were dealing with a water sign, there was definitely a breakup at one point. Somebody was indecisive and didn't know if they wanted to do something long term. And it, it made you very emotional. I feel like there's going to be a coming back together with you and this individual. Yeah, there could have been some conflict, ongoing conflict with you and this individual. Sun card, healing, wish fulfillment, seeing a brighter day, a new path. Okay, so this is interesting. You had a nine of pentacles being clarified by the nine of cups. So, you know, there's going to be some healing. And I feel like this is coming up. You, you aren't experiencing it yet. This is coming up, this nine of pentacles. You felt like there was a lack of wish fulfillment and getting what you wanted in a situation, especially with your finances. You may have overexerted your finances overextending your finances because keep in mind a nine of the nine of cups can always also be about um greed and and gluttony too much so there could have been too much spending and you drained you see if you turn a cup upside down and has something in it the cup will be drained so you may have drained your finances and keep in mind you have two nines nine of pentacles nine of cups and nines are the ending of cycles so something can be close and I was far, far as your finances. And I feel like this is lack, right? Because nine of cups is an influx of what it is that you do want, the things that you do want. And it's coming up in reverse, but then it's coming up right next to the nine of pentacles. So you can ready to heal something as far as your finances. I feel like there was just an energy of too much spending. Again, nine of cups can be gluttony. So there was too much spending for some of you all. But that's okay because you're getting ready to become a little more balanced and aligned during this time. Also, with this being cups, it could be during cancer season, the end of June. You know, there could be some healing with your finances coming towards. I'm sorry, I said um, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. But um, there could be some healing. There could be some healing with your finances. Doesn't matter about the number. I'm, I'm, the energy is still the same. But yeah, that's the ten of cups. Yeah, look, and it makes sense. Look at this bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Nine of Cups, and then Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So that's why I said it didn't even matter about that little um, hiccup at the end of the day. You got the same card. Like I said, right now you're in energy. Things were upside down as far as your finances because there was some overspending. There was some overspending, but things are getting ready to become balanced. And this is confirmation. Absolutely. And that's beautiful. Yep. Everything works out like how it should with spirits. You see that? So let's get a clarifier for the Six of Cups. Wow. You got this King of Swords again. Wow, wow, wow. So yeah, I feel like in emotions, right, as far as your health, you're dealing with things in regards to emotions. Some of you guys are sad that you haven't had this reconciliation yet with a possible air sign. And if it's not an air sign, it could be that a lot of you guys are dealing with lack of communication with someone that you have history with. The Six of Cups is someone that you have history with. You know, past life, this lifetime, you have history with this individual. You two have a very fond, um, you're very fond of this person. And the connection feels very genuine, sweet, and sincere. But there was some type of detachment. This person could have went cold on you. Again, the king of swords is someone who can go cold and become distant and aloof and distracted. I'm also hearing distracted. And for a lot of you all, you want a reconciliation with this individual, or it could be vice versa. This person could want a reconciliation with you and you're being distant. And that's what I'm picking up for you guys. Okay. So that has been the reading for my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.